Now, a few of you guys know that last week was old format, but I had two people send in their reports and they wanted me to cover them because they feel that they're going to be playing this for this format. So I wanted to open up the floor and discuss these two particular deck profiles for you guys so you can kind of get a feel of what's going on in their minds, things like that. The first one is going to be the South Park Regional, and this was one... Or, Stun made top eight. This deck went through eight rounds. All right, let that sink in for a second. That is insane. Um, this is the concept that I would probably be going for in this format. I, I think this is particularly cool to see Stun actually getting the chance to do anything right now. So I'll go through the deck here, and then we'll talk about the little report, and then we'll move on to the next deck. So anyway. We have Triple Banisher, Triple Inspector Border, and Triple Thunder King Route. Perfect monster lineup, honestly. It's a triple card demise, two desires, triple duality. Perfect spell lineup. I, I don't see anything that I would want to change here. Traps, triple anti-spell fragrance, two dark bribe, triple goes in match, two heavy storm duster, two sword, two wings, two ring, one judgment, two strike, one warning, and triple storming mirror force. Going forward into the new format, I would I I kind of want to test the third ring. I've been thinking about it for a little while. It's like, hmm, the third ring kind of kind of gives you a little bit of inspirational value, um, just in terms of generalized things. So just kind of something to kind of whetten your appetite on a little bit. It's just, hmm, maybe I should test this. And then the extra deck down here, these are all cherries targets. This man brought the entire extra deck for the format, and he's like, this is everything I need. So one Gumblar, one Double Helix, one Kagari, one Isolde, one Electromite, one Firewall, one Equimax, one Hextia, one Totally Awesome, one Dante, one Nova, one Omega, one Dark Law, one Macaba, and one Dragon Buster. I applaud this guy's dedication. And the side deck, we have Triple Fossil Dino, Triple Ghost Reaper, one Mage Power, two Moon Mirror Shield, Triple Evenly, one Macro, and two Mask of Restrict, just in case he gets into some sort of weird matchup. Now, I do want to draw your attention to the Mage Power. This is one of those scenarios, it's like, once you get the super large boss monster on the field, you just activate this, equip it onto the super monster. Your opponent can't get over by battle. And if your opponent is basically Goki and they're stalled out, or even, like, if you've got a Banisher face up against Sky Striker, if you put your opponent on that deserted island, there's not really much that they can do to get over the monster. So it's kind of one of the more interesting things that kind of... I, I've seen this be played a couple of times... Um, just throughout the past. It doesn't seem really relevant, but until you start playing the deck a little bit, I, I do want to point out that it is actually pretty good. Also, Ghost Reaper for 15 different targets is actually just nuts to me. Uh, so, here's his report very quickly. Um, he, let's see here. Uh, Robbie, I'm letting to, uh, writing to let you know how I did. I made top eight with a border stun. Yes, my entire X deck is targets. Uh, because I don't like fun, that I never found myself in a situation that I could make stuff in testing. Uh, having trouble... Oh, yeah, he, he was having trouble with the dueling book file. So, anyway, round one was... He won 2-1 against the Samurai. Round two, he won 2-1 against Mech Knight Invoked. Round three, he won 2-1 against World Chalice. Round four, he won 2-1 against Goki. Hmm. I wonder, wonder how you beat Goki. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, round 5 was against Ultra Guys T1. Round 6 was against Hero PK. Uh, he lost a dice roll. Uh, he gumbar looped to me for 4 game 1, and I already had a crappy hand. Uh, I won game 2, I duality and demise, and he managed to rip exactly the card uh, I needed out each time with Dark Law. Oh my god. And then uh, round 7 was against Trick Scar Sky Striker. Uh, his opponent, Summon Topological Bomber. Bad time. And then round 8 was against Hero Goki. Uh, he won 2 0 against Daniel Shogun. Uh, I won the dice roll, and he bricked <laughs> uh, game two, so I'm pretty sure he won. Uh, but anyway, this is Matthew uh, Herleis. God, I'm pretty sure I'm terrible at pronouncing names. But it's pretty cool, especially if you're going into the 200th this week. I think it's kind of cool to... If the metagame progresses the way that people are thinking it is, and you play something like this, you stay ahead of that curve. And I think it's really important to just understand that decks like this are, they're better during developed formats and things like that, but if you're entering into with the mindset of everybody's going to be playing this deck, fuck it, I'll, I'll try it, and we'll see. If you can get ahead of the curve and out-predict your opponent, as long as everything goes in the way that you need it to go in here, then I think that this could be very, very successful and have a good weekend. So we'll have to see where this, this goes. I don't know if people are ready to play stun just yet, but I would like to see some more success 
from people playing decks like this, especially walking into the 200s. Now, the last list that I've been asked to profile is actually Dino Rars. Now, this is an interesting one. So this was sent to me by Kevin uh, Rivaro. Now, I do want to say that the only big change that is sticking out to me here is you move Cold by the Grave to 2 and you replace it with another card or you go to 59 cards. That is strictly up to you. Now, this entire deck is just 60 card Dark Dinosaurs. I have his tournament report here and I, I'll talk about it here, but whoo wee! To see something like this in this day and age as a combo deck, I'm actually scared. Nothing uh, intrigues me more than when my opponent goes into this off of Abaxia and you're just like, oh, well, shit, what do I do? So anyway, this is the 60 card Kevin special, as I'm going to call it. So we have three Armageddon Knight, because once again, this card is just nuts in this format. Uh, Trip copies of Ash Blossom, one copy of Zephyros, two Dark Grefer, two Destrudo, one Dagoram, Triple copies of Droll and Lockbird, one Giant Rex, one Elio, one Mare Mare, one Miscellaneous Ceresaurus, triple Overtex Skultos, triple Gamma, triple Overraptor, triple copies of Dark Worm, and of course the Gate Zero, triple Ultimate Conductor, and one Driver. Pretty heavy monster lineup, but this all makes sense. And then we have triple Lore of Darkness, triple Called by the Grave. Triple ultim or triple double evolution pill. Why did I say ultimate double evolution pill? Triple dragon shrine, one foolish burial, triple fossil dig, one monster reborn, triple desires, one rota, and triple twin twister. Next deck down here: one wee witch's apprentice, one underclock man, one tornado dragon, one utopia the lightning, one utopia, one logia, one copy of Volca, one dweller, one boxia, one trishula, one scarlight, one samurai destroyer. One Omega, one High Speed Chambara, and one Black Rose Dragon. The side deck, one Turtle, two Ghost Ogi, one Kuma Mungus, two Sphere Mode, one Dark Hole, triple Hage Renade, one Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, one Regeki, and triple Red Reboot. Now, onwards and upwards for the tournament report. So, match one was against Zephra. He said, against Zephra, I drew Gamma every game and won because I Gamma his Electromite and he didn't have a play after that. That's what I like to see. Uh, round two was against Trickstars. Um, uh, he out-resourced me, and I bricked both games. Both of my losses were due to pretty much a bricking, and my opponent resourcing me. It's what happens when you play 60-card variants like this, unfortunately. There's not really much you can do about your opponent just out-resourcing you. Uh, round three was against Pendulum Magicians. I kind of drew really good game one. Game two, I bricked. And then uh, game three... Or no, no OTK'd... Um, game two, but most of my games ended with Yazi into Mare Mare, and then Chambara and Conductor for game. Uh, Called by the Grave was useless game two, so I cited out for board removal. Okay. So, there's that. Round four was against Cyber Dragons. He won 2-1. Cyber Dragons was my scariest matchup, because I could have lost the game through if my opponent didn't misplay by not using Cybernetic Overflow, the trap that pops. He had game, but I capitalized off of his misplay and OTK'd with Conductor and Chambara. Interesting to note there. Uh, round 5 was against Goki. This match was against someone who went with me and was on my team. I ended up losing the dice roll, but I had Droll, and I gamma his Summon Sorceress. He passed. Ooh, that's actually interesting. Gamma gets a little bit more powerful here, actually. Um, let's see here. Um, game 2, he gumblarred me, and you locked me, and then I sighted Sphere Mode and got lucky. Um, <laughs> I got lucky with Allure and Conductor for game. Cool. Round 6 was against True Draco. Um, the two worst decks I hate... Uh, oh, it was True Draco Sky Striker. What the hell? Uh, combined into one, and I had to lose to it. Oh my god, that's disgusting, actually. Uh, round seven was against Mech Knight Invoked. Uh, it was close, but uh, especially game two, I won because I called by the grave to his opponent's Alistair, so he couldn't use the effect to get over my conductor. That's interesting to know. And then round eight was against Trickstars. I was scared of facing Trickstar, but it actually ended up being my easiest matchup all day because game two, I used Yazi to bait my opponent's scapegoat, and then he summoned... Summon Chambara and use Double Evolution Bill to make Conductor for game. It's kind of what I'm starting to realize here. That Ultimate Conductor was really good. But yeah, this was the, the top for 
he got 17th place at Catskill. Kevin wanted me to show this off for you guys, kind of get some new experience for the new format, see what you guys are thinking out there as well for the new format. So guys, please leave a comment down below on both of these decks if you'd like to hear what you guys have to say. And well guys, thank you Kevin, thank you Matt for sending these in, it means a lot guys. Um, if you guys have new lists from the weekend, I'll try to cover them for you guys as well. And guys, I'm out. The ride never ends guys, make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.